Before we begin, I'd like to wish everyone a very happy new year, and hope that this one will be better. With that being said, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Please enjoy this video going over the Echidna. You see that small tower over there, rookie? That's a dungeon, and that will be our last stop in the desert here. So the plan is, we have to reach the bottom floor. That tower goes down. We have to reach the bottom floor and subjugate the boss monster at the very end. I have a few potions and scrolls and all that and magic items to keep us going, so we don't have to worry, but we do have to worry about the boss monster because it's the mother of all monster girls, AKA the Echidna, you know, probably the most terrifying thing ever. Well, not in terms of strength, but what they're capable of because whatever species you see from here, from here on out, it's probably born by that one. So without further ado, let's go into the dungeon and also go over the dossier for the Echidna. What we do know is their habitat is the deepest recesses of dungeons. Their natures are lustful and their diets are carnivorous. They feed for wild animals. Their families are Lamia and their reptilian type monster girl. The Echidna is also a member of the Lamia family, with the bluish upper body of a human and the lower body of a snake. Echidnas are the most magical of all monsters and a far cry from typical members of the Lamia family. Though their disposition varies greatly from individual to individual, the one trait all echidnas share is extreme lust. Few humans have ever observed echidnas, as they are extremely rare and often live in the deepest recesses of perilous dungeons. They live in such remote regions so that only humans of great prowess can reach them, meaning that the ones they mate with and bear children by are the greatest specimens that humanity has to offer. An echidna's dungeon often contains precious treasures, mysterious potions, and legendary magical artifacts to entice such adventurers. The monstrous keepers of these troves are known to take woman's form and use their awesome magical power to spread the news of these treasures or to slightly promote Echidna's land quest among humans. When an adventurer has successfully evaded the gauntlet of traps and challenges and reached the end of the dungeon, he finds the Echidna waiting as the final challenge and reward for conquest. The Echidna, however, may be unable to conceal her excitement and having found one worthy enough to be her husband, and will wind her body around his own and make love to him. She will press every part of her to the man to make sure he does not forget the taste of her breast, lips, and vulva. With monstrous ecstasies rivaling that of the succubus, she will make him hers. An echidna has the instinctive ability to sense a man who is destined to be a hero. This helps her find a man great enough to be her husband. It is said that some echidnas come to the side of such men before they show outward signs of greatness, to support and to aid by their own hands the men they will one day drown in pleasure and enslave to passion. Instances such as this may explain the many legends in which a heroic savior of humanity simply vanished into obscurity. Perhaps the heroine who stood by his side throughout the was the Echidna, and somewhere in the subterranean depths of the world, they thrive still bound in the ardor of sex. Echidnas have a trait very unusual among monsters in that among children they bear in a lifetime, only the first is an Echidna. Subsequent children differ in race, appearance, and traits. In many cases, new races of monsters never before observed are born. For this reason, the Echidna is known as the Mother of Monsters. Her search for great and powerful men stems from her desire to give birth to new monsters, more formidable and fantastic than ever before. Once an Echidna has obtained and fully enamored a husband, she sets to work on her essential calling, to conceive his children and give birth to the greatest of all monsters, so that one day she would gently stroke her swollen belly with the blessed smile of the Holy Mother and murmur, My sweet child, wrought from luscious seed of my dear husband, my greatest love in this world, just how lewd and lustful will you grow up to be? In what ways will you turn men from chastity? And how deep will your pleasure be as you debauch them? Thinking such thoughts, the mother of monsters surely smiles in anticipation of her soon-to-born child. Now you may be asking yourself, Hey, how do you know the Echidna was here? Well, that is a tale for another time. Our main goal here is to subjugate the Echidna in any way possible. All right, let's go for guts and glory, get in there, and let's do our job as hunters. <laughs> 